Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna try all the White Claw Seltzers. It's time to get Monday drunk. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, two weeks ago we did all the Bud Light seltzers. Today, popular demand, everyone said it. They so want the white claws, dude. Uh, there, there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. That's right, baby. Right. Uh, today, Corey, what are the four you got in that pack? This is flavor collection number two, which means we've got the mango, watermelon, lemon, and tangerine. And then I got natural lime, raspberry, <laughs> Ruby grapefruit and black cherry. Uh, this is flavor collection numero uno. Eight different white claws. It's time to get drunk. And also, it's time to get scientific. Ooh. Sean Nye, the science bill, bill, bill. guy. <laughs> All right, um, if you saw two weeks ago, we kind of run the gambit. We, we try them, we react to them very naturally. And then at the end of it, we give our Olympic podium. We give our gold, silver, and bronze. And then we smoke weed like, like Michael Phelps. Well, we don't always do that, but we could. Um, I do. <laughs> you we, can probably tell just by looking just, at my you face. Know, you just kind of like uh, pose what you look like, whatever. All right, so Corey, what's the first one today? All right, first up we've got White Claw Hard Seltzer Natural Lime. Yeah, the uh, Bud Light Seltzer was lemon and lime. This is natural lime. Yeah, I don't None know. None of that fake crap. Yeah, I was surprised that they had to call it natural. I don't yeah, know. that's a little weird. All right, cheers. Cheers. Ooh, this has a dog hair on it. Oh, wow. Okay. Are you thinking the exact same thing I am? That you already like these a little bit better than the Bud Light ones? A hundred percent. It's like all the, it's like flavor overload compared to Bud Light. <laughs> um, some gremlin just whipped that out. I want to whip the camera over, but. Still gross. But better, right? Better than, but way better. Way yeah. better. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm gonna do a very Claire Saffitz thing real quick and read the ingredients. Purified carbonated water, alcohol, natural flavors, cane sugar, citric acid, natural lime juice concentrate, and sodium citrate. All right, that is not bad. Dude. Keep that away from my face. Yep, I know, my bad. I'm, right, I'm, I'm learning. We started a new segment, okay? Let me. Yeah. All right, this is raspberry. Which it's so annoying to me that raspberry so has a pee. That pee is so Calm stupid. Down. That's very. I was having some raspberry. Hate it. Because it's so much more flavorful and I don't like raspberry. That's a problem for this one. Oh, less flavor would have helped this. That's true, but people who like raspberry, they probably would love this, but me, I'm not a raspberry fan. It tastes very, um, like chemical. This is like chemical raspberry to me. Oh, wow. It tastes, I know I said I it last video, bad, two so weeks ago I said this, this is the cough syrup of raspberries. Ah, yep. Which, oh, it's a soft pea. Raspberry. Soft pea sounds like <laughs> something you need to take some blue chews to fix. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's our next one? Next up, we got Ruby Grapefruit. So, Bud Light Seltzers was just grapefruit, right? I don't know what makes it a Ruby. What's a Ruby Grapefruit? God, dude, I love citric acid. Mm. Okay, I that's like that. That's not bad. Raspberry, it's like just subtle enough to taste good. Raspberry was so much worse than these two. So much like, worse. Like, that is a trap. Throw it away. Like, when if you get a variety pack, give that to your least favorite friend. Ooh, that's better than actual grapefruit. We consensus number six with cheese does not endorse grapefruit. One hundred percent. This is better than regular grapefruit. It turns out I like ruby grapefruits. If every time I ate a grapefruit, Don't I got touch hammered. Me, go ahead and keep going with what you're saying. If every time I, if every time I <laughs> had a grapefruit, I got drunk, I'd eat way more grapefruits. That's but sadly, when I have one in the morning, I cry and I'm sober. What's your favorite so far? Uh, so far, the ruby grapefruit, and I did a back-to-back -back a couple times to taste test it. You don't do much back-to-back, -back, I've noticed. I do not. Can you tell I'm already getting drunk? My sentences are getting horrible. You're sounding like me, sober. <laughs> yeah. All right, next up. Uh, butt cherry. Butt cherry. What was their songs? Was that the one about throwing panties or something dumb? Hey! I'm <laughs> song and I'm on top of it. I'm like... It, the song was not appropriate. Uh, black cherry, a.k.a. buck cherry. I like. I mean, I'm a black cherry fan. You like like the like the licorice flavors, huh? Is not black cherry kind of licorice? -y? I like like not black cherry licorice. I do not f with. Mm. I only I love. Well, Twizzler pull and peels are my jam. Those are great. Um, I like this black cherry way more than Bud Light's version. Bro, I mean, back to there's back. There's no those. reason. Which two? The grapefruit. Okay. Are they the same? 
Do they just put the same liquid in these? I think this is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might be hammered. Holy nachos. You ain't getting none of them. Neither are you. Oh, can oh I can I show my camera though? This is yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm glowing as the kids say I'm gonna glow this up. Is not my special this is, I'm gonna glow up homeless girl. Look at the uh, freaking nachos she just made, dude. Are you effing kidding me? Yeah, we, those one, these no okay. joke. These are way better than the ones we get at Old Vani Boys. Okay. Um, I literally can't tell the difference between these two. I think black cherry and grapefruit might be the same can. I like black cherry. I think I'm gonna go. Man, these, they're not bad. Next up, we got watermelon. Oh, can I tell you something real quick? Yes, please. I don't think Bud Light had watermelon. I don't think so Watermelon? Either. It definitely didn't. This is, dude, you know I like most foods, right? There's very little foods that I don't like. like. I like everything. Mm -hmm. There's something about watermelon. I like fresh watermelon. Anything watermelon flavored sucks. Not into. I don't dig it. It's like watery, I don't know. Let's just go. I like watermelon Kool-Aid. I've never had watermelon. Before. Every time I open this, it spits jizz on it's, your pants. It's not jizz, it's the well, drink. Yeah, I call any spill jizz. Why don't you jizz. calm down and grow up? You're not gonna like this, because it's very watermelony, and I like it. Okay, hold the phone. You dig it? This isn't bad. Okay, because it's a, it's a bit muted watermelon, though. Maybe that's why I like it. Maybe too much watermelon is not good, like, because I get it, this is definitely not a lot, it's like... I don't love it, but if somebody handed me this at a tailgate, I think it's great. I wouldn't I wouldn't defriend them on Facebook. This isn't bad, dude. I cannot believe lime is my favorite right now. I'm going lime. This is still fourth though. Mm. But that's not this is what's gonna be very um, deceiving about this video. My fourth place this is insane. better than every Bud Light seltzer. Yeah. Fact. I will every single time so far. We haven't done Trulies, we haven't done Corona seltzers. Right now, White Claw is the Rolls Royce. Ugh, okay. I said this to Corey and Kylie before we started filming. It's so weird to me that they write lemon and not lemonade. Like, I think it's, an, it's an instantly better marketing if it's lemonade white claw. I don't want no, lemon, no, I don't want lemon you're raw. You're wrong on this one. Am I, am I, am you're I, wrong on this am one. I doing a juice cleanse? But lemonade is something different. There's lemon flavored and then there's lemonade. You're lemonade right. Lemonade is a drink. Of course, I think they should have made lemonade. And then just put alcohol in it and taking all the bubbles out. You don't, you know and that. And sold it separately from their seltzers because lemonade, lemonade is not a lemonade seltzer. Lemonade is lemon water and sugar. Exactly. That's what White Claw is. In citric What's acid. This word? Okay, I don't really know what seltzer then, then means. Then it's not lemonade. Whatever. You uh, know what I'm saying though? Okay. Lemonade is a very specific thing. I'm team lemonade. <laughs> a little weird, but okay. Hold on, I didn't get Still any. better than everything Bud Light. I didn't get any flavor. That's the closest to being, uh, do they make unflavored White Claw? That is the closest. No, but I don't think- You know how like LaCroix makes, you don't know, why would you know this? Uh, <laughs> seltzer water brands make unflavored, it's, yeah. ju it's just sparkling water, which I like. This is the closest to that. <laughs> this is what I want. I'm gonna make, uh, you ever had Sprite White Claw? Okay, I'm glad that you continued that sentence. You ever had Sprite White, White Claw? Claw. <laughs> Big pause there. All right, let's do that, that's a good idea. Dude, I think you just, if people haven't already done this, this is, remember, you know my favorite spokesperson of Sprite of all time? I love LeBron, but it's not LeBron. Make seven up, up yours. yours. That guy's great, athlete. Detroit, big scorer, Grant Hill. Blake Griffin? Grant Hill. Oh, Grant Hill. You gotta mix it up a little bit though. Um, okay, new breakthrough. That's not how, looks like you're sucking off White Claw's brand. Well, you still gotta mix it up. The the most the most detrimental thing to society is that his wife likes these things. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Bro, I'm gonna, that actually kind of tastes like Sprite. I know bro. this is cheating. That That's the is move, Sprite, dude. Bro. Dude, just Holy do this. Smoke. Are you kidding? Try this one because I think that's what you're gonna like. All right, quiet on set. It's flat and foul. <laughs> it's flat and effing foul. Put it on a shirt. It does taste like horrible Sprite. It tastes like Sprite without the, like you said, without the syrup in it. Who wants Sprite without the syrup in it? Who wants any soda without the syrup in it? Yeah, but what if they took the syrup and got it out of there so they could make room for all the alcohol? I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll just <laughs> vodka, bro. She'd kill herself over that. Wow. So brutal. Wow. Okay. Uh, two more. Mango. All right. I don't know why it always shoots right at you every time I open one of these. You know why? This is how you hold it. <laughs> all right, mango. Expected it to be my favorite, and I don't think it's number one. It's it's almost like too much of the flavor for me or something. I don't know. 
but it's on the tail end. It's not even at, at the front end, it's bland, and at the tail end, I get something weird. To me, it's not as flavorful as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, no, it's, it's more muted. You know what I else? I want is? more mango. Mango puree, like in boozy drinks, like you have to add a lot of it to get, mango is actually not as yeah. uh, pungent as people think it is. You have to add a lot a of lot. mango puree, like broken down sugar. Mm. This is, I think mango, it's kind of overrated sometimes because people think like a mango is like Careful! So, you know like how a pineapple is so sugary? Yeah. And then you eat a mango, it's not the same thing. I've never had a mango, I've only had mango drinks. Okay, it's the last one. This is really unique. Tangerine. Tangerine. When's the last time you've had anything tangerine? I've okay. never drank or had a tangerine flavor. I've only seen the movie. A tangerine's kind of like a smaller orange, right? Aren't those like tiny oranges? Oh, I thought those were cuties. That's like kind of, it looks like that. Oh, I've had those. I didn't know those were called tangerines. I don't think cuties are tangerines. I think a tangerine is a small orange though. I honestly, apparently, <laughs> don't know what a tangerine is, like legit. I think most of America doesn't know what a tangerine Dude, is. I literally don't know what a tangerine is. Okay. Is it orange at least? Or of course. Clementine. Clementine's you what guys I'm gotta, of. Clementine is a brand. You guys gotta calm down. No, Clementine's a small oh, You're fucking nuts. Yeah, you're the best you're throwing at people. All right, anyways. Yeah. Everyone's like, shut up. I love the people, listen, this is a web series called Number Six or Cheese, you probably know. The people that are watching this video and don't know what we do, if you're actually basing your weekend plans off of if we like this, that's funny to me. Woo, sorry I wasn't listening to you. It's all right, you don't need to. <laughs> I like this a lot though. Ooh, I do too. I wonder why they went tangerine and not orange. Do you notice how Bud Light and White Claw Zero don't orange. have an orange, like an orange juice? You know why? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> this is just my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Orange flavor for poor people. I see. I don't agree. I think everybody likes orange. No, flavor. no. I'm not saying everybody doesn't like it. Obviously, everybody likes it. I'm saying the big wigs are looking at these and are going, "This is a uh, college little frat boy, blonde girl drinks," and they don't drink orange flavor. Like, I, you know what I think of when what? I think of orange? What? I used to buy orange Kool-Aid packets. You know that was for freaking poor people. I hate bro. how much I agree with. That's that. probably true. And they're like, you know what? We want the orange flavor, but if we do orange, they're all gonna think it's poor people shit stuff. These poor people stuff. <laughs> and they're gonna so they go, just call it tangerine. It's basically the same. I hate. Line. I hate how much I agree with. That's that. probably true. Here's a um, an acronym we haven't used on the show much. You know who would love a tangerine white claw? Who's that? The wasps. The oh, white what does that mean? Anglo-Saxon Protestants. I didn't even know Protestant was the thing where I grew up. I thought it's barely. I thought everybody was Irish Catholic. Midwest, me and you, very Irish Catholic. Go east, go towards the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Wasps. I don't even know what the. Di I think the only difference is what they. Ju we just drink more and uh, say worse things. And they have more money. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's a socioeconomic thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. This is good though. This is like I don't know. This might be top two or three. It is time to pick the Olympic podium. Of White Claws. All right, real quick, should we do a shout out? Merch out, merch out, merch out. Yeah, we got merch. We're not dumb. Check out that shirt. That's brand gosh darn new. Check out this shirt. This is almost. It's the. It's newer. This is almost gosh darn new. <laughs> uh, really though, we got shot glasses, we got koozies, we got hats, we got shirts. They're all awesome. Go to number six with cheese.com and if you buy something, we put you on the. Uh, on the, on the list to do the shout outs. And if you buy more than one item, then we put you on the uh, the front of the list. And if you buy our hot sauce subscription, I mean you get hot sauce once a month delivered right to your gosh darn apartment. If you're in Chicago, you only live in apartments, I guess, house or whatever. Move on. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Jonathan Ruiz. Woo Down there in Tom Brady, Texas. Just get rid, get rid of the Tom. Uh, two bottles of Sixer sauce. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for buying. Uh, Texas needs more big things, and Sixer Sauce has got that big ass flavor, dude. So, Jonathan, thank you. And merch item number two goes to Ms. Nicole Kingsley. You bought stuff before, we hope you buy it again. We appreciate your support. We sent that out to Glen Falls, New York, and what did we send? A bottle of Sixer Sauce and the old school, old school number six with with Steez. What's the name of our channel? Uh, the number six with cheese sticker sheet that's got the little four banger uh, logo sticker, so we appreciate wild. that. That's, that's those cool. are the true fans, because those stickers were uh, a couple of like kindergartners ago. getting into Pinterest. Like yeah, we were dude. like, we can make a sticker. <laughs> yeah, who'd we buy that from? Yeah, number six with cheese.com. Uh, support the show, it helps so much. Like, 
<laughs> you know what's really funny? Buying all the weight cloths isn't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully this money makes this video money. makes you get it. Okay. Um, all right. Moment of truth. Um, Corey, why don't you go ahead and give your Olympic podium right now? Okay. So mine's like I said, it's gonna be a bit crazy. First off, I do want to say, Bud Light. I'm just kidding. If you want to sponsor us, none of this is true. Um, but if you don't want to sponsor us, then this is true. They don't. White Claw's way <laughs> better, bro. It's so better. I'm blown away at how much better it is. So but much more flavor. White Claw doesn't make beer. Bud Light is so That's versatile. True. Yeah, and so great at what they do do well. Right? When I think about Bud Lights, I think about delicious flavor. Me too. And how many of you had those in your life? Mm -mm. That was barely a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> For these, so this is what I think. I, the watermelon, I'm going for third. That's okay. nuts. So, really? Sorry, it's, it's not my time to talk. That was really rude. I apologize. I like, well, but you also did say you're not a big watermelon fan. And so. you're an idiot. Yeah, that's true too. That is actually true. <laughs> for number two spot, there's a reason I got these stacked. I swear to God, I still can't tell the difference between these flavors. I mean, that's really funny because you review food and drinks for a living, so. Bro, I think these are the same. I think they just tricked us. But ruby grapefruit and black cherry <laughs> taste exactly the same, and I'm gonna put those in my two spot. And then in my number one-ish spot. Holy smokes. I've got tangerine, bro. Wasp oranges. It's so freaking good. But I also have my sleeper number one pick. And this is just too much work to do on the regular. Yeah. But the uh, lemon and lime mix is my swear to God favorite. Did look you just say thing? Look, look what I did. This is my swear to God. This is my actual favorite. But like realistically, realistically, am I gonna drink half the lemon and then pour the rest of the lime Probably in there not. every time? <laughs> but this is the best thing to do. So White Claw, if you're watching this video. Make a Sprite flavor, but yeah. don't call it that. It's probably, I'm sure it's like issues or whatever, but Plus, this is the best way to do it. That's really damn good. <laughs> it's so good. Anyways, go ahead. Uh, third place, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Buck Cherry, the band. <laughs> and then the silver medal, dude, holy smokes. The the Russia of the floor mats of, gymna of gymnasts. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I think Russia gets... The Russia I think, of the floor mats I think, of the gymnasts? I think in the Summer Olympics, Russia gets second a lot in, gym, in gymnastics. I made that up. Tangerine. And then, here's what I'm going to go with. For bro, gold. top three worst sentences <laughs> any human's ever put And that's hard to do because I have a lot of bad ones. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with... I'm just... Whatever. It's our channel. I can do whatever I want. That's true. Number one is mixing lemon and lime. It's and, so and if that's, and if that's Okay, and if, and if that's cheating... Okay, make then your own pick video. one of the two <laughs> lime, and then go get the lemon and add it. Like that's true. Legitimately, that was. I'm so glad that we found that out on camera. That's hilarious. White Claw infinitely better than uh, Bud Light. I cannot wait for Truly. I cannot wait for Corona. I think Corona is going to be a lot like Bud Light, and I think Truly is going to be so close to White Claw. <sighs> Corona, I can't is wait. Is Corona gonna change their name or something? Because every this whole sentence, I'm sitting here. I can't think about nothing but sadness. <laughs> Computing joke. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Computing joke. I was just mad, bro. That <laughs> both of you, dude. Uh, guys, I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video have a favorite White Claw. Let us know what your favorite flavor is, what you think of White Claw. Um, we obviously were like, we're not big on the seltzer thing. Like, we go to parties or like a tailgate. If you hand us something to drink, we will drink it. Yeah, That's a very Sean and Corey thing. Dirty trash humans. We don't really care about, if it's got booze in it, thank you. That was so nice of you to give us a free drink. Yeah, and we'll like it infinitely more if it's a sponsored drink. So keep that in mind. Dude, if we're your spokespeople, <laughs> Um, but anyways, this was super fun. Uh, let us know what else besides Truly and Corona we should drink on camera to try. These videos have been super fun. And uh, Corey's gonna shotgun to finish this video. Claw sure, I'll have a drink. Dude, it's, it really is good. You can't do that unless you ruin the carpet. So I'm gonna be like this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought Ginger's already ruined their carpet. What does that mean? <laughs>